so hi everyone in today's tutorial i would be telling you how you can use deepseek r1 the best open source reasoning llm released yesterday which has even outperformed openai o1 on multiple benchmarks for free of cost using python so first of all you need to open olama.com i hope you already have olama installed in your system if not just go to olama.com and install the software once done you need to go to the deepseek hyphen r1 and copy this particular command as you can see i'm using the 7b version there are multiple versions of distilled versions of deepseek r1 that are released as you can see these are the versions 1.5 7b 8b 14b 32b 70b so whatever model your system would be able to run choose that i'm going with the 70b version olama run deepseek hyphen r1 colon 70b just copy this now we will be switching to the command line prompt now as you can see that you need to copy paste that particular command that we chose olama run deepseek r1 i copied that and here you can see that the model has been installed now so once you run the same command the model needs to be downloaded first as it is downloaded for me i can run any prompt here easily but i wish to show you that how you can use the model with python so let's jump on to our jupyter notebook now so as you can see that we would be using langchain and langchain's olama extension to use the model so it's quite easy you need to first of all install langchain and langchain hyphen olama and then as you can see this is how you can install langchain hyphen olama once done you need to set up a template create your chat prompt template even it's no if you don't want to use our template you can ignore it no worries this is the most important part olama llm model equals to deepseek r1 do remember that that model has to be installed in your system you should have downloaded it using that command that i showed you and base url as you can see here you need to pass the base url as well then do a chaining with the prompt and ask your question for example what is 3 plus 44 minus 9 into 3 Now here you can see that the model has started thinking. To solve the expression, I will follow the correct order of operations. It is doing some mathematics, showing all the reasoning parts it is going through, and then giving your final answer as twenty, which is correct. So this is how you can use DeepSeek R1 using Olama with Python in your local system. Also, all the distilled models are present, even the original models are present, but they are quite huge, six seventy one billion parameters. Hence. it won't be wise for you to run that in your local system because that won't be compatible so i hope you try out the distilled models they are also looking very good and you make some exciting application using it thank you